Introp 2022. This is a joint effort between browser vendors to deliver new in-demand features and to fix problems with widely used features that web developers often struggle with. We're identifying the places where we can provide solid cross-browser information to help you build great websites and applications. First up, cascade layers. Look at that. This feature wasn't there at all last year, and now it's everywhere. And then also, don't miss the dev tools. We can see an overview of all the layers, see when styles are in a layer, and layers are organized just like you'd expect. One of the new CSS features I'm most excited about has to be has, pun intended. Next up is inert. This allows developers to specify which part of the document should be inactive. Think of it like freezing portions of the document. With container queries, each component owns its responsive information and responds accordingly no matter where it lives in the UI. This is all running in Chrome Canary using the Page Transition API today. We are replacing the need for a cross-site cookie with a purpose-built API for the use case. We're experimenting with cookies having independent partition state. We're currently testing trial versions of the Privacy Sandbox APIs in Chrome. We have an exciting new feature called Passkeys. With Passkeys, users will no longer need to enter their passwords on new devices. Thanks to a host of major improvements that we've made across the entirety of the browser, including V8 and shipping rendering NG, you don't have to make trade-offs just in the name of performance. We have mentioned the benefits of lazy loading before on the stage, but now it's available across browsers. For floating performance, the particular APIs I want to talk about today are BS Cache, Priority Hints, and Early Hints. Web developers worked diligently and have now saved us all at least 1,000 years of waiting around while loading. WebAssembly is gaining support for managed programming languages like Java, Kotlin, and Dart. The Window Controls Overlay API is now available. Access Handles and the Origin Private File System are supported by Chromium-based browsers on desktop and mobile by Chroma Edge and also on Safari on iOS and macOS. We want you to have the best tooling and guidance at your fingertips. And we've made massive improvements to debugging to help you across the entire spectrum of web development, from CSS grid to the dreaded cores errors. There are tons of improvements we have done to improve your debugging experience on web applications, especially those that are built with frameworks or abstractions like Angular, React, or Vue. The web has come a long way for one year. We're excited about what you can do in browsers today and for the possibilities for tomorrow. <laughs>